Well, hello, Move Easy Movers. Welcome to Move Easy Yoga with Kathy. Today is Saturday, August 12th, 2023, or whatever day you're watching this video. Um, today for props, you're going to need your trusty chair, of course. And if you have a sponge ball, uh, that will work. If you don't have a sponge ball, you can use a thick pillow or a bunch of folded towels because we're going to do the windshield wipers with something between our knees. So, and that's pretty it. That's pretty much it for props. As far as the focus goes, we're doing shoulders, hips, core, a little bit of everything today. But we're going to start in our usual manner with legs on a chair for seven minutes, putting our lower back in traction. You know, I like starting out this way because it gives me time to get into my space. So your lower legs are on a chair or couch. Make sure your lower legs are parallel to the ceiling. They're not angled up or angled down. Your hips are a few inches away from the base of your support. They're at neutral, so you have a natural curve in your back. May not be big, but it's there. You're not flat against the floor. Arms are wherever you want. You breathe normally. Just bring yourself, your awareness into your space. We'll be here for seven minutes.
boy, that went fast. Uh, time's up. Stay where you are. If you choose, you can um, roll your tongue under the roof of your mouth and slowly move your head from right to left six times. One. Two. Three. Four. Six. Okay. Good job. Now the next thing we're doing is vagus nerve reset. We're all familiar with this. Your head is stationary facing forward. You're just moving your eyes. So start by moving your eyes to the right. And excuse me. Ah, I yawn right away. And wait for that. Sigh, swallow, yawn, or gulp. Oh, I do this so often, all I have to do is think about it and I'll yawn. And then once you've done that, bring your eyes back to center and then move your eyeballs to the left. Just your eyes. Wait for that sigh, swallow, gulp, or yawn. Oh, big yarn. Now go ahead and do this two times on each side without my cueing. I'll give you a couple minutes. <clears throat> okay, finish up. And for our breathing exercise today, we're going to do square breathing. And that's done. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> um, at the count of four. So basically you inhale, two, three, four, hold two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. So let's do that. Inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, 
four, hold, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. One more time. Inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. Good. I was reading the other day that the breathing exercise, like the vagus nerve reset, kind of relaxes the body and sets us up for movement that we're going to be doing later. And that's why we do that. In case you didn't know. Okay. So the next thing we're doing is the vacuum. And you can do it with your legs up if you choose. Or you can move away from your couch or chair. Or whatever you have. I like to have my legs straight. But it's personal preference. If you uh, have moved away from your chair, your legs can be up. They can be to the side. They can be whatever, wherever it's comfortable for you. I like mine straight. So the vacuum is very simple. What we're doing is we're building our pelvic floor strength. And we're just going to take a normal inhale. And then exhale everything out of our lungs. Press our lower back till it's flat to the floor. Pressing our belly button down towards the floor holding it for the count of 10, and then releasing. So very simple. So inhale. Now exhale everything out of your lungs. Hold your breath out. Press your back against the floor so it's flat. Press your belly button down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go ahead and breathe. Give yourself a minute for your breath to get back to normal. Takes a couple of breaths. Now we're going to do it again. We'll do this two more times. So take a normal inhale through the nose. Now exhale everything out of your lungs. Press your back against the floor. Press down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, get your breath back. And then last time, inhale through your nose, normal inhale, exhale through the mouth, hold your breath out, empty lungs, press your back to the floor, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Bring your breath bring your breath bring your breath back that's hard to say five times bring your breath back <laughs> okay well, well we're down here we're going to do some windshield wipers so we're going to start slow and easy your feet are shoulder width apart and we're just going to go back and forth slowly Just from sacrum edge to sacrum edge. When you feel your hips start to rise, that's when you turn and start going the other way. So we're just warming up here. 
We'll do this. Oh, let's give ourselves 40 seconds. Just slow and easy. You know, I took a yoga class yesterday and I'm still sore from it. <laughs> she had us doing a couple things I wasn't used to doing. Okay. All right. So good job. Now we're going to do wide leg windshield. Boy or, no, excuse me. I just realized I forgot to do the head ramping. Okay, let's do that. And since our legs are no longer on the chair, we're gonna do head ramping. Um, so you can have whatever you want behind your head, you can have your washcloths that you normally have, you can have a set of therapy balls. I like using a sponge ball. It gives me more room to move. And what we're doing is we're stretching the back of our neck because we're trying to reverse text neck from always looking down at our phones, our devices. And what we're trying to do is stretch the neck to go in the other direction. So the occipital ridge, that bony part between your ears runs along your scalp line. That's what you're pressing away from your body. You can do this sitting up, you can do it lying down, whichever works for you. So we're just, we're going to do this five times. So we press, hold for a couple of seconds, and then release, and press. We're pressing the back of our neck hold, and release, three more times, press, hold, and release, and press, hold, And release. And last time, press, hold, and release. Okay. You know, if I checked my notes once in a while, I wouldn't miss stuff. So anyway, <clears throat> back to windshield wipers. So we've done the uh, warm up part. We're gonna do the sponge ball. Now you can put something between your legs if you choose. Um, you can make it a pillow, a paperback. So uh, try to make it something soft. If you have a block, that's fine too, but sponge ball works. And we're gonna go a little further this time. Although this does limit you. So again, feet are shoulder width apart, maybe a little further apart. So your knees are together, your feet are apart. And just, you can go a little further if you choose, going back and forth. We'll do this for 40 seconds too. We're moving slowly. Back and forth. And I'm just moving as far as 
the sponge ball will let me without actually letting go of it. But you can move as far as is comfortable for you. And there we go. That's it for the sponge ball. Now, wide leg windshield wipers. So put your feet as wide as your mat, if that is comfortable. If not, you can have them a little narrower. And let's go all the way down if we can. We don't have to go all the way down to the floor. Just you'll feel if you go to the right, you'll feel your left hip go up a little bit. That's okay. Then just turn around and come back the other way. Try to keep your shoulders on the floor at all times. So again, we'll do this for about 30, 40 seconds. So we're still moving slowly because this is a twist. So we don't want to hurt ourselves. But it's a good warm up for the hips. Okay, there we go. Now, oh, I'm going to check my notes. Okay. Let's come, come up to a sitting position. Take your time. We're going to do our regular warm-up stretches that we do. Um, now, as far as sitting, you can sit cross-legged. You can sit this pose would also work for what we do. Um, I don't recommend doing this because we're going to be doing right and left stuff. But whichever way works for you. So we're going to start with the side bend with lat stretch. And again, this is a 40 second hold. So hand along the mat, upper arm comes up and over. Try to aim your elbow to the ceiling if you can. And just feel, be aware of where you're feeling this. I'm feeling this all up my side body. Now lower your upper arm till it's parallel to the floor and you'll Probably feel a different stretch, more maybe under your arm and down your back. Which I can feel. Whoa. Okay. Arm up. Torso up. Okay. Other side. Hand along the mat. Other arm comes up and over. Keep both sits bones, both hip bones on the floor. Like I said, try to aim your elbow to the ceiling. You won't be able to point it directly up, but as close as you can. Now lower your arm till it's parallel. Reach for that corner. Reach, reach, reach. Yeah, this is a good stretch. Yes, stretch, stretch, stretch. Uh. And there we go. Arm up, torso up. And let's switch our legs just for the heck of it. We're going to do the, <clears throat> excuse me, thoracic rotation now. So we'll start on whichever side you choose to, get to do. I'm going to start on my right. So left hand on right knee. Right arm behind you, this is your support, your own spider fingers. Rotate your elbows, elbows, your shoulders. These are your elbows, these are your shoulders. Rotate your shoulders to the right. <laughs> and <clears throat> just enjoy this stretch. You can, 
you have options. You can move your head. You can move your rib cage. Or you can just enjoy the stretch. Feel what it's, be aware of where you're feeling this. All right, come on around. We'll do the other side. Right hand on left knee, left arm is behind you, spider fingers. Rotate your shoulders. This is a stretch for the upper back. I feel it right across my bra line. And again, your options are with your head or your rib cage. <clears throat> you just feel that stretch. There we go. Come on around. Okay. Now the third one in this triplet is shoulder shrugs. And we're not gonna go in a circle. We're just gonna go I'm going to set a timer now for this one. Okay, we're just going to go straight up and down. Straight up, hold it, and down. Straight up and down. Up and down. And down. I notice my neck disappears when I do this. Up and down and one more. Up, hold it, hold it and down. Okay, good job. All right, let's go ahead and switch our legs again. Uh, we're gonna do some, some shoulder work. So we're gonna start with arm circles. Now, the arm is gonna go all the way around. So you might, if you're on your right arm, you might wanna to lean to the left and then we'll do the other arm. So here we go. All the way around. As big as is comfortable for you. You wanna keep your arm as straight as possible. I notice that I'm bending it a little bit when I go up and that's okay too, because we're actually moving from the shoulder. So big arm circles. All right, now we go the other direction. You can move your torso around if you choose with your arm circle. Might make it easier. Thing is, we're using the rotator in our arm shoulder and moving it 360. Okay, good job. Now we're going to do the left side. So here we go. These arm circles are <clears throat> the best thing for your shoulder. If you're able to do them, they're really, really good. Let's set the timer. I did not set the timer, okay. <laughs> Let's change direction.
Okay. All right. Good work. I really feel that in my shoulders. Okay. So the next thing we're doing, and you can stay cross-legged if you want, but I'm going to go ahead and go to a different sitting position. This next thing is called the butterfly. So your hands are going to go back behind you like you're putting them in your back pocket. And I, I can't really see. Let me, I'm going to move my shoulders so you can see my arms. Remove my shirt. There we go. So your hands are in your back pocket or actually at your waist. Would work better. And then we're just going to move our elbows back and forth like butterfly wings. So elbows come forward, elbows go back, forward and back. Could have worn a sleepless shirt today. So <laughs> forward and back. So again, we're moving slow, but this is also a good shoulder work. So elbows forward, elbows back. Elbows forward, elbows back. You're working your shoulder. Keeping, keep your back straight. Don't hunch your shoulders. Head up. There we go. All right. 40 seconds. Good job. Now for this next movement, I'm going back to cross-legged. Um, you can stay in that other seated position if you choose. But basically, this move is your arms go up, you twist to the right, they come down. Arms go up, forward, down. Up, twist to the left, down. Arms up forward, down. That's one. So we'll do this about, oh, five times. So just make sure you've got enough room. So arms up, arms down. Arms up, twist to the right, arms down. Arms up, forward, Arms down. I think I had that sequence wrong. We'll do it differently here. Arms up. Twist to the left. Arms down. Arms up. Twist to the right. Arms down. There we go. Arms up. Twist to the right. Arms down. Arms up. Forward. Arms down. Arms up, left, arms down, arms up, forward, arms down. This is a workout. Arms up, right, arms down, arms up, forward, arms down, arms up, left. Arms down, arms up, forward, arms down. Okay, that's enough of that. Wow. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is standing at the wall. So let me just give me one minute to set up here. <laughs> I need to move my computer so you can see me. So. Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is standing in good posture. So 
we work our way for standing pose, we work our way from the feet up. So the feet are parallel. Uh, the sides of your feet, can't really see my feet. There we go. Um, the sides of your feet are parallel. It's going to feel like you're pigeon toed, but you're not. Um, the way our feet are, we're normally, our feet are out like this when we're standing, but we want them to be even and the outsides parallel. Your hips are above your feet, knees are above the feet also, and your knees are straight but not locked. Your back is straight, shoulders, hips, knees all aligned. Your head is forward. Feel like there's a string pulling your head up. So your neck is in a natural position, head is forward, arms at your side, feet aligned, hips, knees, shoulders, everything aligned. This is your basic Tadasana, standing in good posture. So just to do this for three or four minutes a day is actually very good. It helps your posture, but we're gonna do the back bend. So we're standing with our back against the wall, preferably in as good a posture as we can. <laughs> And arms up, palms on the wall, elbows as close to your head as possible. It depends on your shoulders, how close you can get them. And notice my, my chest is expanded, but not my hips. So this is a 40 second hold. It's actually a bone building exercise. All right, come on down. And the next thing we're doing is the spine twist. So um, starting on your right side, right foot forward, left foot back. Elbows at your waist, hands up. Rotate to the wall, hands on the wall. Your hips should be parallel to the wall. Your shoulders should be as close to facing the wall as possible. Palms even with each other. So this is a rotation, it's also bone building. Fingers are apart. You can move your head to right and left if you choose. But don't go up and down, not in this position. There we go. All right, come on around. We're gonna do the other side. So left foot forward, right foot back. Elbows at your side. Elbows at your waist, <clears throat> rotate towards the wall, hands on the wall, fingers apart, hands even with each other, hips parallel, shoulders as close to facing the wall as possible, head can go back and forth. And okay, go on around. Now, one more thing, or a couple more things we're going to do. You can do this standing, you can do it sitting. This is also a good position to be in for a couple of minutes. We're going to stand with our back to the wall. Um, you will want to lean against the wall a little bit. So I am, my, my feet are not against the wall, but my upper back is. 
we're going to come up with cactus arms. And we're going to hold this position. So you want to have, if you can, your arms on the wall as much as possible. So cactus arms, elbows are across from your shoulders. Hands are facing the ceiling up, well, the tips of your hands. Hand, palms are facing forward. Your entire arm, if possible, is on the wall, both arms. If, you, if you're unable to do that, you can certainly raise your arms up or just get as close as you can to getting your elbows, your shoulders, your wrists on the wall. All right, for 40 seconds. Now, while we're here, and I did not mention this and I should have, if you have a block, we're gonna do a balancing. A balancing on one foot. So your block is few -ish, few inches away. I have a table in there. And you have the wall for support. So we're going to do this on both sides. So just put your foot on the block. Have the wall for support. The other foot is just dangling. Now, if you can, you know, don't touch anything but you've got the wall there. Focus on something in front of you. Don't look at the computer. Just look straight ahead and focus on something in front of you. That helps. Your hands can be in any position you choose. Oops, I looked at my watch and I fell. <laughs> okay. Come on down. We're going to do the other side. So, left foot on the wall. And up you go. And again, just try to focus on something ahead of you. Now, you've got the wall there if you need it. And there's nothing wrong with holding onto it this whole time. This is a very good balancing exercise. We're doing 40 seconds in case I didn't mention it. And there we go. Okay. Good job. We're going back to the mat. <clears throat> Excuse me, I need to plug in. Okay, now we only have a few more minutes, so I wanted to make sure we got a couple of things in that we need to be doing. Um, so we're going to do some core work. So you are supine on your mat. And we're going to start with the tabletop extension with your legs. This is the movement, but there are options. You can do one leg at a time. You can just lift up your leg. You can just extend your leg. You can put your hands under your hips. That does make it easier. You have more support down there. We're going to do 10 of these. One, and we're hovering, we're not touching. Two.
three. Five. Six. Seven. Nine, we're almost there. And ten. All right. Good job. Feet on the floor, give yourself a break. Ah, that always kills me right here. <laughs> Okay, um, the next one is one we haven't done before. So, and again, I'll give you options because <clears throat> it's not super easy. The movement, the, the original movement is leg up and touch your arm, leg up and touch your arm. Now, options, you can bend your leg, makes it a little easier. You can just raise your leg if you have trouble reaching, you can just raise your leg, period. You can um, raise your legs and go like this. The idea is to move them both at the same time. So we're going to do 10 of these. So one, two, Three, four, five, halfway there, six, we're on the downhill. Remember, you've got your options, bent leg is easier, seven. Eight, nine, ten. All right, good job. That's really good core work right there. That's where I need it. I don't know about you. Okay, the third thing, and this I, I learned in another yoga class. It's called a couple of different things. Some people call it dead bug. Some people call it crazy. It's basically where legs are in the air, arms are in the air, and you're just kind of going all over the place. We're going to do this for 40 seconds. Just arms crazy, legs crazy. My one teacher calls it dysfunctional, dysfunctional moving. But it's just both arms, both legs. Just do whatever. Have fun with it. Just crazy, crazy. Like you're having a tantrum. Wah. Ten seconds. This is really good for the core. And it's kind of fun. So just all right. There we go. <laughs> Good job. Let's a lot of my frustrations out when I do that. <laughs> okay. So we're almost done. We're going to do one more thing. And I know you know what it is. It's our favorite, the plank. Now, again, we've got options. If you have your chair, let me demonstrate that again. Because that's a really good one. I know, Caitlin, you've got a couch, but uh, planking on the chair is really not as hard as planking on a mat. 
So basically you're holding onto the chair, your legs come back and you just straighten your body. So this is a perfectly good plank. Nothing wrong with that. You also have options if you're on the mat to do any number of things. Straight arm and knee down, straight arm and hips and knee up. Forearm with knee down, you gotta make sure your hips come down. Forearm with knee up. So you have options. We are gonna hold this for 40 seconds. So pick one that works for you. And if you can't hold it the whole 40 seconds, that's okay. But here we go. I'm doing the forearm instead of the straight arm. And you'd be surprised, 40 seconds goes by a little faster than you might think. Especially if you think about something you like to do. That's what I do. Because I think about, oh, riding my motorcycle, eating olives, eating figs, just eating in general. That's always fun. Seven seconds. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Down. <laughs> All right. Good job, guys. Go ahead and get into position for yoga nidra. Make sure that you are warm enough. I don't think that's an issue. Cool enough, as the case may be. You might want to cover your eyes. <clears throat> I'm going to lead you through a 61-point guided meditation. Allow your awareness to flow to the points that I mentioned without moving them. Begin with your breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. Observe your abdomen as it rises and falls with the gentle flow of your breath. Now bring your awareness to the center of your eyebrows, center of your throat, right shoulder, elbow, wrist, right thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, right wrist, elbow, shoulder, center of your throat, left shoulder, elbow, left wrist, left big thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, left wrist, elbow, shoulder, center of your throat, spiritual heart center, right side of your chest, heart center, left side of your chest, heart center, navel center, center of your pelvis, right hip, knee, ankle, right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, right ankle, knee, hip, center of your pelvis, left hip, knee, ankle, left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, left ankle, knee, hip, center of your pelvis, navel center, 
heart center, center of your throat, center of your eyebrows. This concludes the guided meditation. Begin to wiggle and stretch. Stretch your legs out if they're bent. Stretch your arms above your head. Stretch one side and then the other. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Rotate your wrists and your ankles. First one way and then the other. Now take your right knee and hold it to your chest. Thank you, knee, for everything you do. Straighten that leg out. Take your left knee and hold it to your chest. Thank you, knee. I appreciate you. Straighten that leg out. Now pull both knees to your chest and slowly rock back and forth, feeling that massage on your lower back. That feels good. And when you're ready, roll towards the camera with your lower arm as a pillow supporting your head. We're gonna take our gratitude minute here and just be grateful for what we have. Be grateful for what you've accomplished today. This was quite a workout and you guys did it. I'm grateful for you. Now, when you're ready, come on up to sitting. You might want to unmute yourself. I'm going to remove my spotlight. I want to thank you for joining me in some intelligent movement today. And hands to our heart. I don't know how Via says this. Glide your, glide your skull so it glides over your occipital ridge and I just want to say thank you again and I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and stay cool so let's end the class by saying namaste 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 thank you Kathy thank you yeah good class bye. <laughs> thanks bye thank you